Hey everyone, it's Natasha. In today's video, I'm going to show you my favorite Martin Luther King Jr. books. Now, I know this video is a little bit late because we just had Martin Luther King Jr. Day earlier this week, if you're watching this, you know, right after I post it. However, I thought I was still going to post it because, of course, Martin Luther King Jr. Day comes around every year, plus Black History uh, Month is next month in February, Plus, any time is a good time to learn black history or history in general. So I still felt like this was relevant and I thought somebody might get something out of it. So I'm going to post it anyway. So the first book here is the story of Martin Luther King Jr. And this is one of my, I and mean, it might be my favorite book just because of the simplicity. It's a board book, so you think it's for you know, babies and toddlers, but it's not. It is a perfect early elementary book, in my opinion. I really liked the illustrations. I thought they were really nicely done and really pretty, and I thought the pages had just enough content on them that it gave a good understanding of what was going on at this time without being overwhelming, but with still being truthful. And so I thought that this book was really good. So I definitely recommend this one. The next one is Martin's Big Words. And this one is gorgeous for the illustrations. I mean, gorgeous. Okay, so I turned to a page with no illustrations. But let me just show you. The illustrations are seriously wonderful. So, and I think it won an award for that too. Now, this book is much heavier and much deeper than this one. So even though it is a picture book, I definitely think it is appropriate for upper elementary, even middle school. I mean, it's kind of my personal opinion and never too old for picture books. But um, this book goes through what was happening, but also on every page has a quote that ties it in uh, from Martin Luther King Jr. I guess I shouldn't say every page, but almost every page. So this one was really, really nice. I really liked this one. But it does deal with his death and beatings and murders and, you know, all of that kind of stuff. So it's some heavy stuff in this book. But history is heavy. So, um, you know, but just keep that in mind. Um, my Daddy, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. And so I thought this was a really nice one, too, from a different perspective. And again, I thought the illustrations were very nicely done. I really appreciated I really like the illustrations in these books. They're, they're quite beautiful. Then we have March On, The Day My Brother Martin Changed the World. And so this one, this one has a lot more text. I think this one, yeah, I'm pretty sure this one out of all of them had the most text. And so this one, for sure, you're going to lose the lower elementary kiddos. So I do not recommend this one for lower elementary. Um, I didn't even read this one to my kindergartner. This is just too much for her. This is definitely more for upper elementary, like my third and my fifth grader, or even again, middle school. I mean, I keep saying this, but I think you can take a book like this even into high school, honestly. So, because it is so well made and there's so much content here, but it's not, it's, and it's not babyish. It just happens to be a picture book. And so, anyway, this was really good for the older crowd. And then this one, My Brother Martin. And this one was really nice, too. I really enjoyed this one. And let me show you. It talks more, and this one, it talks more about his early days. I'm uh, This is just so cute. Look at the baby. Oh, my gosh. It's supposed to be Baby Martin. I mean, it's just so adorable. Um, it talks about, you know, him growing up and the pranks he used to play. And <laughs> it's a funny, it's a funny, it connects kids, you know, instantly because, um, they can see, you know, they're just kids like them. And it talks about their white neighbors and how they used to play with them. And then the day that basically that stopped. And then at that point, you know, it was like, okay, what is going on? Why is it like this? and how he decided to make change and and do his part to make change anyway anyway and so that's kind of what happens after that and um it doesn't get a lot into exactly what happened okay so i guess my point is like what we did i read this one first and I thought that was a great introduction because it started from his early life. And then the second one 
I read was this one because then that gave us a very basic but precise overview of his life and his work. And then after that, dove into these. Um, I do think this one is appropriate for kindergarten, but keep in mind, it does talk about those hard things. And then um, these ones were for my, my older girls. So that's kind of the order I, I went in and I would suggest going in because I think they build on each other nicely like that. But of course you can you know, do whatever you want or, or nothing, you know? <laughs> so anyway, that is what I had for Martin Luther King Jr. And, uh, I highly recommend all five of these books. And if you have any questions, let me know. I will leave a link down below to all of them. Um, they will be Amazon affiliate links. So I do get a little commission if you choose to purchase through my link, but of course it costs you nothing extra. And I really, truly appreciate when you do that. So that is what I have. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a blessed day.